most impactful thing I've learned from Indiana University Northwest is the skill of networking and going out of your way to make your own connections. Big things that I've learned about myself is that um, I'm outgoing and I now have the confidence to actually go amongst people. Always ask for help. <laughs> there are a myriad of different types of people in the world and opening yourself up to all the different types of people there are will help you have a much better experience living in the world we live in today. One of the most important lessons that I've learned at IU Northwest is that, you know, it's not all on your own. There's definitely a lot of teamwork. You've definitely got a lot of people around you to help you out. That it's okay to stop and take a step back and look at your life and evaluate it and see where you want to be. I've learned that you may think that you're mediocre, but you're really not. And I've learned that I'm a very creative person and I really want to show that now. That's a lot of people. I would like to thank Dr. Crystal Shannon and Dr. Adams for always pushing me to be my best. I would like to thank my parents, especially my mom. Um, my mom actually came here with me and uh, we had like a few classes together. My professor, Dr. Ming Gao, um, he played a key role in developing me as a researcher and as a scientist in total. Being able to get a degree. I'm 53 years old and I never thought that I could go to college and um, just being able to have a second chance. Probably the most proud accomplishment I have is graduating. You know at first it is kind of I would say scary coming into a college setting and you know realizing man I have 120 credit hours I have to fulfill and then once you get down to that point and realize you have one semester left it is just I'd say it's an out-of-world experience. Just making the Dean's List, um, joining the National Leadership Honor Society, and joining Criminal Justice. The accomplishments that I'm most proud of are um, completing this degree. This has been a long journey for me. I'm a transfer student. Um, I started my college journey um, 10 years ago, but I was determined in the fall of 2017 when I started here to finish and that's what I've done. It's definitely um, the growth that I've had, both um, academically and maturationally. Is that a word? No. <laughs> Well, right now I'm in an internship at Geary Works for U.S. Steel. So I'm going to be working there until about May, and hopefully they hire me on, which I think they will because I've been, you know, kicking it there pretty hard. Uh, I plan actually to go right back into school and possibly go for my Master's of Business Administration or Master's of Liberal Studies. I um, plan to be a nurse practitioner, open my own uh, clinic, and practice family medicine. Traveling and experiencing things and making money and kind of not being a poor college student anymore. We'll be studying next year, I'll be studying uh, medical school at I, uh, Indiana University School of Medicine. Just try to do something productive with my life, you know. Um, go back to medical school and do what I can to, you know, give a helping hand to others. My plans for the summer are to visit, I hopefully go outside the country, but uh, just visit different states and do stuff I haven't been able to do before I actually have to start my career. Take like a long nap. I'm not even joking. <laughs> Go to sleep and catch up like on my TV shows and um, finally being free. Let's see, what would I miss the most? Um, I'm gonna miss the sense of community and honestly my friends the most just being together and just tackling these classes together and my professors because they've honestly become like my number one cheerleaders. The English department is what I'm gonna miss the most. I love the English professors on this campus so much. One thing I won't miss is finals. <laughs> what I'm gonna miss the most is being in the library. <laughs> A group of us, I mean, sipping on coffee, we're eating, and we're basically like grinding real hard 
for a final week and <laughs> just get together and collaborate with the other students. Oh gosh, uh, there have been so many. I really enjoyed Asia Day, uh, all the different uh, foods that they serve and all the different music that uh, acts that, that perform there. When I first got here, I was really in a little, I was just a little clam. I was, it was so, <laughs> I was so timid. I didn't really like talking to people. I was really shy. And for meeting a lot of the other communication majors, I've really come out of my shell. We had this field trip once for a geology class. And we all went down to the beach. And I, I think uh, it started raining on us, so like, there's just a flood of kids just running towards the bus. It was just, it was just a sight to see. My favorite experience was probably um, getting to see the solar eclipse. Simply just walking through campus just gives me like an aura of happiness. And um, I really love, I love this place. I mean, I never thought I was gonna love it that way I do, and I'm glad I'm here.